plotting points on a TI-84 graphing calculator. This video lesson refers to the TI-83 and TI-84 series of graphing calculators. Pictured is the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition graphing calculator. I strongly invite the viewer to follow along with your calculator to get as much as possible from this video lesson. Pause and rewind as necessary. One of the most useful features of the graphing calculator is its ability to plot points. When you press the STAT button, this is what you get, the STAT menu. Press ENTER to get the EDIT submenu of STAT. These columns labeled L1, L2, and L3 are LIST1, LIST2, and LIST3. Let's enter the points 3,5, negative 2,6, and negative 1, negative 5. First we'll enter the point 3,5. Press the number 3, then enter. We can see the number 3 in the list 1. Next, arrow over to the right to list 2 and press the number 5. Then press enter. We see the number 5 in list 2. Now we'll enter the point negative 2, 6. And here we have the negative 2 coordinate in list 1 and the 6 coordinate in list 2. Now we'll enter the point negative 1, negative 5. And here we have negative 1 entered in list 1 and negative 5 entered into list 2. Now we press the graph key to see our plotted points. What's happening? We should be seeing the points. Where are the points we plotted? Let's find them. Press the Y equals key to get to the function editor. Plot 1 is not highlighted. Plot 1 needs to be turned on. Arrow up to Plot 1, then press Enter. And now we see that Plot 1 is highlighted. Press Graph. Now we see the plotted points. Now we'll look at a problem that will well employ the plotting capability of our calculator. And here's the problem. An equation can be used to model the relationship between the total cost Y and the number of airplane tickets X that are purchased as given in this table. And then we have the table. Which equation best describes this functional relationship? We'll remove the entries in L1 and L2. We get back to our list by pressing STAT, then ENTER. Arrow up to L2. Press the CLEAR key. This is what you see after pressing CLEAR. Press the DOWN arrow. And LIST2 has disappeared. Now arrow to the left to get to list 1. Instead of going to the very top of the column like we did to delete list 2, we can just press the delete key. We press the delete key again, and by pressing the delete key a third time, we have deleted each of the three entries in list 1. So we have a choice in deleting lists. We can delete a list as we did for list 2 by going to the top of the column, pressing clear, and then the down arrow, or by deleting one entry at a time, just like we did for list 1. I want to show you something I think is important that causes trouble for new users that I want you to be aware of. Arrow up to highlight L1 at the top of the column on the left. Press delete. L1 disappeared. We don't see L1 anymore. If you press delete at the top of the column instead of clear, the whole column completely disappears. To get the lost list back, press stat. Arrow down to 5. Set up editor. Press enter. Press enter again. Now to check, press stat. Press enter. We see that list 1 has been restored after having been deleted. I show you this so you will know what to do if a list should accidentally be deleted. Back to our problem. Here in the top row of the table we see the number of tickets, which is our independent quantity or variable. Enter 2, 5, and 8 from list 1. Here in the lower row of numbers we see the dependent quantities of $360, $900, and $1,440. And here the costs are entered in list 2. Press graph. We can ask the question, how can we see no points plotted? We see no points plotted because the window is not set up to see these points with its current settings. To fix that, let's press Window. These are the standard window settings in the calculator. An X minimum of negative 10, an X maximum of 10, a Y minimum of negative 10, and a Y maximum of 10. We're going to fix the window settings to be able to see the plotted points. Press the Zoom key. 
Arrow down to 9. Zoom stat. Press enter. We can now see the three points on the view screen. Press window. We can see the new window settings we got by pressing zoom stat. The zoom stat sets the window to be able to see all the plotted points. Now press the Y equals key to access the function editor. Let's look first at answer choice A, Y equals X plus 180. Here's X plus 180 entered in our function editor. Press graph. We don't see a graph touching the points, so we can cross off answer A. We go back to the function editor and enter our answer B, Y equals 90X plus 270. We see the line in the viewing window after pressing graph, but like answer A, the graph does not touch the points. So we cross off answer B as well. Here we have answer C entered in the function editor y equals 180x. Press graph. We see here that the graph touches all three points, which means that C is our correct answer that we circle as correct. Now we're going to look into the stat plot menu by pressing the second key, then the Y equals key to access the stat plot menu, which we see here. Press enter. We see the plot one submenu. Here circled are the on off options for plot one. We see here that plot one is on because on is highlighted. The next options available are the types of plots that can be displayed. There are six of them and the option on the upper left, which is the point view, is highlighted. Next we have the lists. We see that the X list is defined as the L1 and the Y list L2 in the stat edit submenu. And at the bottom we have the appearance of the plotted point options. The standard little square type point is highlighted. And here circled is the point that appears as a plus sign. After pressing enter on the plus sign, the plus sign type of point is highlighted press graph. The points on the graph now appear as plus signs. Press stat. Then press enter to get the edit submenu. Press zoom. Arrow down to option 6 which is zoom standard. Press enter. We see the points we saw earlier but now as plus signs. We're going to do something with these three points that form a triangle. Press stat. Press enter to get the edit submenu. We're going to take this first point in the list, 3, 5, and repeat that point at the bottom of the lists. We see here the same point at the top and the bottom of the lists, at L1 and L2, which is 3, 5. We'll go back to the stat plot menu, press second, press Y equals key to enter stat to access stat plot menu. This is the stat plot submenu. Circled is option 2 in type of plot. Arrow once to the right and press enter to select option 2. Here we see that second option highlighted. The option, uh, this option joins points together with line segments. Press graph. Repeating that first point in the list allowed each point in the shape to be connected by a line segment to form a triangle. I want to show you one more thing in this lesson. You may sometimes press graph expecting to see a graph or plotted points and see this, an error, dimension mismatch message. This message serves as a warning that something is missing in the stat edit submenu. Go to stat edit by pressing stat, press enter. We see here that we have no output for an input value of 3, therefore the dimensions are mismatched which gives us an error message. We can also get a dimension mismatch error message if we have plots turned on but no points entered in the lists in the stat edit submenu. Summary. In this lesson we learned about plotting points in the calculator. We learned how to turn on plot 1 in the function editor or y equals view. We learned how to set the view screen window using zoom stat and zoom standard. We learned how to change settings in the stat plot menu. And we learned how we can get a dimension mismatch error and how to fix that error. We also learned how to recover our list 
that has become accidentally deleted. At this point I invite the viewer to select any of these other four lessons covering different operations including a table set menu, setting the window of the view screen, using the zoom menu, and using the calc menu. Just click on the boxes to take you to any one of these video lessons. This has been Plotting Points on a TI-84 Graphing Calculator. Thanks for viewing.